So right now I'm going to walk you through how to make a very basic bee water. So something so simple, but it is necessary to help bees rehydrate and continue doing their work. So let's help those girls out. Alright, so right here I have just an aluminum tray. Less than a dollar, you can get 99 cents for a dollar tree, whatever. These are just basic river stones from around my house. They were here as part of the landscaping. I got some of these little glass marbles. I put these inside. Helps give, the bees, helps give the bees something to stand on so they don't get wet and brown. Put blue in there for some color. Then just water. Now you're gonna have to fill this up pretty regularly because it's gonna evaporate and the bees are gonna drink it and yada yada yada. But this is important for the bees, especially around here. All we have are pools, there's really no open water sources. And there's nothing for the bees to grab a hold of in the pool, so they fall in, they drowned. There goes another bee. There goes another plant. Um, also, if they do manage to drink the water, the chemicals are not good for them at all. This way, the bees in the area, since I'm killing all of the weeds this week by getting rid of them so they don't steal the nutrients from the things I'm planting, the bees will have something here. <clears throat> um, it'll help them. And then they can pollinate and grab the pollen from the plants that I am planting. So we kind of help each other. Um, that's it though. Really, really easy. Everybody can and should do it. Whether you're planting, growing, urban, suburban, suburban, everybody needs, needs bees. So just a small little thing on your patio, your front porch, your windowsill, whatever, it'll help out the bees. Thanks guys for watching.